Hello everyone, this is Hiratlania. Welcome back to my playthrough of Dragon Quest VI, Realms of Revelation, for the DS. Previously, the party started exploring the Dream World on their brand new Mobile Island. That was their prize for defeating Jamiris in the Isle of Smiles. Now it is time to let the exploration continue. We previously explored as far south as the well south of All Trades Abbey. So now it's time to explore even farther south. Hello, Marine Spirits, Wet Kisser, and Sea Slime. Look out for high defense from the Sea Slime. Not very cool, Amos. Let us not use that again. Sweet breath, eh? Oh, bless your heart. Goodbye, enemies. Let us now explore the strait. An evil. Goodbye, Evil. Plenty of shoals to block our progress. And we have marine spirits and a sea slime. Bash that sea slime carver. Goodbye, enemies. That's about as far as we can go that way. So, let us check out this cave. Time for a cave. And this is... the cave east of Clearvale. Haven't been to Clearvale yet. I'm on the hunt for the Shield of Valora, one of the four legendary relics. Now I know why no one's found these items. I'm at my wit's end. First north, at the end, east. North at the first four-way intersection, then south at the four-way intersection to the west. Or so goes the ancient lore I dug up. Such cryptic nonsense. Perhaps I should start searching for relics without legendary in their names. Nothing of note there. At this grave, we find a mini medal. At this grave, we find a medicinal herb. Such a beautiful prize! We're up to 21 medals now. Alrighty! We'll have to remember that direction stuff for when we're seeking... when we're seeking the Shield of Valora. Won't be for a while yet. 
Sluggernaut Unicorn, Lesser Demon, and Malevolamp. Hello, enemies! Goodbye. Nevin reaches the rank of Monk. Undoubtedly, he knows the spell already. Rank 4 and Priest. Now we have Sticker Bells. Goodbye, Stinker Bells. Amos reaches the rank of Trollmaster. He learns Flame Breath. Hopefully better than Cool Breath. Congrats on rank 6 and Monster Master. Now with Flame Breath. Next up, some lesser demons. Oh no, Kasap. Take that, lesser demon. Next up, some Gust Blusters. Look out for Wind Spells. Whoa, Ashlon! Hang in there, young lady. Goodbye, Gust Blusters! There we are. A couple more lesser demons. Goodbye, guys. Time for a little more mobility. Now we have a dread herring, heh <laughs> and a wet kisser. Goodbye, enemies. There is a tower in that desert. We might as well sail around and check it out. Ah, oh, Thriller Waves! I am going to wave you guys goodbye! Goodbye, Thriller Waves. Now we have some Scorching Man. 
Let us extinguish them! It burns! It burns not quite as badly. Goodbye, foes. Now then, what have we here? A tower in the desert? And this place is the Spiegel Spire. An excellent place for vocation grinding. It shows up in the zoom list. Now let us zoom off. We'll head west from Hagleton and see what has become of the hole to the west. Goodbye, enemies. Now at the Spiegel Spire, there is no level cap for vocation grinding. What's up, Lips? Bye-bye! And a palace has appeared here. Here we have King Medford's Manor. Wow, it's a castle. A tiny castle, sure, but a castle all the same. You don't get flashy places like this where Old Amos comes from, I tell you. I can believe that. Blimey, what in the world is this? Talk about over the top! Welcome to Medford's Manor. His Metal Majesty awaits you inside. His Metal Majesty? Wait. This must be the home of that fellow we saw flying up after we beat Chamiras. Yes, indeed. Ooh, Medford's Manor. We found his home. Hey, Rot, this is a real find. It's King Medford's Manor. The layout looks kind of like the Metal King's Palace in DQ5. Let's check things out. Collecting many medals is kind of addicting, isn't it? So, what are we here for today? Ahoy! There he is! The King himself! I'm not a bad slime, you know. I promise. Slurp! Let me tell you a secret to prove it. A long, long time ago, Monsters mashed this castle, along with All Trades Abbey. Everyone still remembers them in their hearts, though, so in the world of dreams, they're in goo pendus shape. That must be why they opened great big holes in the dream world, to try and seal them away. Crikey! Never thought I'd run into such a know-it-all slime, you know? They can conquer the dream world, but they can't conquer people's hearts, is that it? We've got a lot to learn from that slime. This is King Medford's royal treasury. Would you like a rundown of the various mini metal prizes? Certainly. Fifteen medals, Staff of Divine Wrath. Twenty-five, Raging Ruby. Thirty, Platinum Sword. 40 medals, Miracle Sword. 50, Sands of Time. 60, Sacred Armor. 70 medals, Metal King Helm. 80 medals, Glombolero. 90, 
Dragonic Diligence. There is also a prize for gathering 100 medals, but I am too embarrassed to say what it is. Oh, are you now? Anyway, that's the full list. Enjoy your visit! So, what are we here for today? Nothing of interest there. What's up, sir? Why would Jamiris want to seal this castle away? Perhaps he feared that King Medford's treasures were too much of a threat to monster kind. Huh. So the more medals we find, the more treasures we earn. And the more trouble we'll make for the monsters, eh? That's the idea. So the more many medals we get, the more monsters will hate us. I guess Medford got the monsters all hot and bothered, huh? Over here. Nothing of interest. Over here. There's a book entitled, Mini Metal Manding. Heyrot takes it from the shelf and reads an excerpt. Mini metals don't fix themselves. Oh no! Mending them requires real craftsmanship. Spare a thought for the poor metal mender the next time you chance upon a cracked mini metal. Hello, sir. Greetings, my loyal subjects. I, Medford Medallion, have a royal passion for mini metals which are scattered hither and thither throughout the world. Some kings crave powerful armies, others want nothing but land. Me, all I desire are mini medals. Bring them, and I shall reward you accordingly. Sounds most reasonable. But wait, I don't know that glint anywhere. You have so many medals with you. I must examine them this instant, my loyal subjects. Splendid! That's twenty-one mini-medals you've given me so far, my little minikins. Ho oh, oh, ho! Look at this, Hayrot! You've given me fifteen medals, which means it's time to administer a fabulous prize. The Staff of Divine Wrath. Thank you, Kingy. It seems I currently have twenty-one mini-medals from you, my loyal subjects. Once you have brought me a total of twenty-five mini-medals, I will be able to reward you with a raging ruby. Thank you kindly. So, the Staff of Divine Wrath can be used to cast Woosh in battle. Hang on to the staves, Ashlyn. And here is a priest without confession services. What good is that, I tell you? Medford's Manor is now on the list. So, we will switch worlds. Hello again, real world. And we'll pay a visit to Madame Luca. Hello, Madame Luca. Welcome back, Heyrot. Your journey goes well, yes? Actually, not so well. Hmm. Well, old Luca to the rescue. Aha! Destiny awaits you to the west. Board your ship again, and tack westwards. You shall see a rocky mountain to the southwest. When you have sailed past, look for a kind of checkpoint. Once you've passed this checkpoint, walk for a while and... you will get to a place called Howe Castle. Mm-hmm. The crystal, it is clear. That is where you will find what you seek. Let's call it a night, yes? We can speak more tomorrow. Luca unloaded a whopper of a fortune on us last night, huh? I think I got the specifics, though. First, we tack west. That means sail, right? Once we passed a 
Once we pass a rocky mountain to the southwest, we'll see a checkpoint. Pass through there and walk a bit, and we'll get to Howe Castle. What we're looking for is there. That was the gist of it, right? Teehee! <laughs> Who says Millie is the only one good at remembering things? So Luca said something about a place called Howe Castle, I? I have learnt to take her hints seriously. How about paying it a little visit? The cat must have been licking my face in the night. It's, a, it's still a little sticky to the touch. What's that you say? Droolin'? Pull the other one. You can't fool old Amos that easily. Ah, you're awake. I trust you had sweet dreams, yes? Hmm. Recently, Madame Luca has been dreaming of a castle again. Somnia Castle. In the dreams, there is a young king who rules over the land. His image is starting to become clearer, more vibrant. He looks just like... No, you wouldn't believe Madame Luca if she told you. But it is most curious, yes. Where did that young king come from? Hmm... Did I understand her right? She was talking about the future, right? Madame Luca's a fine hostess. I hope I can return the favor someday. Aye, much as I'd love to stay here with Luca and her cat forever, I think we should shove off. So, let's shove off. To a more. Let us see how things are here now. Welcome to Amor, home of Amor Sequescence, except no substitute. But exciting as Amor Sequescence is, I've heard something even more thrilling. Ah, uh, do tell. The evil Murdaugh has been well and truly trounced. Can you believe it? Everyone in the town's talking about it. We just can't keep the excitement in. Wow. Rumors travel faster than the speed of Zoom sometimes. If the water's as pure as they say, it'd be a shame not to go for a quick dip. I mean, I can't swim, but I'd be happy to mind your stuff while you go for a paddle. Folks around here seem very chatty. Let's see if they have anything worthwhile to say, I. How about Ilya and Evgenia? So I am hearing on the grapevine about your wondrous victory. It makes me feel young once again. I am so pleased that Razmir was of use to you. I am sure that all the peoples of the world are giving you the gratitude. I too am giving you the gratitude for you have brought the happiness back into my life. Look out, Herod! Over there! We will not be beaten! The poor man seems to believe he fights alongside you, but as long as he is happy... Ilya the Tempest rages once again, and your darling Cyclone is beside you. The old fellow may be sound asleep, but he's still got plenty of guts and gusto. Hang about! Are you telling me this is THE Ilya the Tempest and Evgenia the Cyclone? That would be correct. They used to be my idols when I was a nipper. Pinch me! I think I'm dreaming. For once you're not. Aw, seeing the two of them just warms my little heart. Look out, Herod! Over there! We will not be beaten! Ooh, I bet he's fighting right alongside us in his dream. Just hope he doesn't take a tumble out of the bed. That floor looks none too soft. Aye, it looks like he's still got a swing in his punch, all right. 
I am sure that all the peoples of the world are giving you the gratitude. I, we've got been, we've been getting more gratitude than I know how to handle. But Evgenia deserves it too. If it wasn't for her help, Murda would still be causing trouble. To meet real life legends in the flesh, it's more than a lad like me ever dared to dream. I tell you. We owe big thanks to Evgenia. Hope she takes care of herself. <laughs> yes, it is thanks to her that we got Ra's mirror. I have heard of your strenuous efforts for the cause of peace. Truly, the goddess smiles on you. Evgenia has been grinning from ear to ear since she heard about your triumph. Ooh, Evgenia's happiness is just so contagious. Ain't that the truth? She really was excited to see us. Meeting that pair brought a smile to my face and a tear to my eye. Now we shall zoom over to Port Haven. Hello again, Port Haven. It's as good a place as any to set up for Howcastle in the next episode. Hello, Innkeeper. Thank you very much. In the next episode, we'll either head over to Howe Castle, or we'll do some vocation grinding. This is Hey Rotlinia. I'd like to thank you for watching, and I'll see you again next time.